Hi friends, in this video we are going to deal with the important judgment titled as Indra Devi vs State of Rajasthan and another pronounced on 23rd July 2021. This judgment deals with that sanction from competent authorities under section 197 of Code of Criminal Procedure is required to prosecute public servants if the alleged act committed is directly concerned with the official duty. To know about the synopsis of the case, please watch the video fully. The facts of the case would be that second respondent, the accused, alleged to have been conspired with his superiors who issued a forged lease. The accused move an application before the trial court seeking to assign the charge sheet as the same had been filed without obtaining sanction of the competent authority under section 197 of CRPC. The trial court dismissed the application. On filing petition under section 482 of CRPC, the High Court had obtained therein that sanction under section 197 of CRPC was required before triggering any prosecution against the station house officer for filing or failing to file an affair and for other criminal acts committed during the discharge of his duties. The compliant agreed by the said judgment has approached Supreme Court by filing a special leave petition. The state has also filed uh, an SLP. The learned counsel for the appellant submitted that second respondent conspired with his superiors in dishonestly concealing the forgery and intentionally omitting mentioning the date of the proceedings on the order sheet. Such action of forging documents would not be considered as an act conducted in the course of his official duties and thus section 197 of CRPC would not give protection to second respondent. The issue discussed in this judgment is whether the act committed is directly concerned with the official duty. The Supreme Court has held that Section 197 of CRPC seeks to protect an officer from unnecessary harassment who is accused of an offence committed while acting or purporting to act in the discharge of his official duties and thus prohibits the court from taking cognizance of such offence except with the previous sanction of the competent authority. Public servants have been treated as a special category in order to protect them from malicious or vexatious prosecution. At the same time, the shield cannot protect corrupt officers and the provisions must be construed in a such a manner as to advance cause of honesty, justice and good governance. The alleged indulgence of the officers in cheating, fabrication of records or misappropriation cannot be said to be in discharge of their official duty. However, such sanction is necessary if the offence alleged against the public servant is committed by him while acting or purporting to act in the discharge of his official duty and in order to find out whether the alleged offence is committed while acting or purporting to act in the discharge of his official duty. The yardstick to be followed is to form a prima facie view whether the act of omission for which the accused was charged had a reasonable connection with the discharge of his duties. The factum of second respondent not being named in the affair is not of much significance as the alleged role came to light later on. The superior officers who have dealt with the file have been granted protection while the second respondent has been denied similar protection by the trial court even though the allegation is of really conspiring with his superior officers. Neither the state nor the complaint appealed against the protection granted under section 197 of CRPC qua these two other officers. The sanction from competent authority would be required to take cognitions and no sanction had been obtained in respect of any of the officers. It is in view thereof that in respect of other two officers, the proceedings were quashed and that is what the High Court has directed in the present case as well. Friends, to conclude, in this video we have seen that sanction from competent authorities under section 197 of CRPC is required 
to prosecute pub public servants if the alleged act committed is directly concerned with the official duty as per Indra Devi versus State of Rajasthan and another case. In the next video, I will see you with yet another case synopsis. Until then, I take leave of you. Bye.